Hello there! Get ready to boost your typing skills and have fun doing it. You might be asking yourself, why should I learn to type? Let's look at it this way. Imagine you're driving a car. You're on a road trip with your friends and you still have a ways to go. Now, imagine that your car is equipped with bicycle tires. You probably wouldn't get very far, right? Think of typing as a way of putting the right tires on your car. When you learn how to do something the right way, you open the door to exciting possibilities. It prepares you for the road ahead. Also, did you know the virtual keyboard on your phone has the same layout as a traditional computer keyboard? That's right, they both have a QWERTY key layout. In other words, learning to type will improve your texting speed. No matter what age, typing is an important skill that makes you stand out. It's something we all need in this computerized world today. With practice and dedication, you'll make it far because you'll be typing like a pro. We're glad you're here and look forward to guiding you on this journey. Before we put our fingers to work, let's use our eyes for a moment. Take a look at your keyboard. Do you notice anything different about the F and J keys? They have bumps. Okay, now place your index finger on those keys and feel the bumps. Got it? Great! These bumps are designed to guide your fingers back to the home row. Your fingers will always return to this row of keys whenever you aren't typing. With your index finger resting on the F and J keys, place your remaining fingers on the keyboard. You should feel them touching the three keys on either side of the F and J. Good job! Your fingers are officially in the home row position. Don't worry, we didn't forget about your thumbs. Their job is to press the space bar. Keep your thumbs resting just above the space bar. Which thumb to use is up to you. But a good rule of thumb is to use the thumb on the hand you write with. That way, you don't accidentally hit the space bar more than one time when you don't mean to. You may be tempted to look down at the keys while typing. That's normal. Looking down occasionally is okay in the beginning. As you practice more, try to keep your eyes on the screen and let your fingers work their magic. Now you know the home row. Let's take a minute to talk about posture. Proper posture at the keyboard not only keeps you from feeling tired, it can also prevent injuries that occur with repetitive movements. Oh, and guess what? It will increase your typing speed. Here are the steps you can follow to make this happen. Step one, adjust the height of your chair so that your arms are at a 90 degree angle when your fingers are on the keyboard, like this. Step two, place your feet flat on the floor. Your knees should be aligned with your hips. If you need to, always use a footstool. It's not cheating, I promise. Step three, place your keyboard slightly below the height of your elbows. That way, your wrist will remain straight whenever you are typing. It is important that you don't bend your wrist in the keyboard. Step four, protect your neck. The top of your screen should be slightly below your eye level, which will reduce neck strain. If you're using a laptop or tablet with a Bluetooth keyboard, you might need to get a stand or a stack of some books to get the screen high enough. If you follow these steps, you'll be sitting correctly at your computer, ready to type like a pro. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, practice makes perfect. Well, it's true. Committing to frequent practice is the best way to improve your typing skills. Here's a challenge. For the next 30 days, set aside 15 minutes each day to practice typing. You'll be surprised how much your typing speed and concentration improve from just 15 minutes of daily practice. We will be there every step of the way, providing you with an extensive library of exercises and games. Finally, when starting out, don't focus on your typing speed. That will improve in time. Instead, be mindful of your accuracy, posture, and finger placement. Are you up for the challenge? <sighs> Feeling tired or sluggish at home? It sounds like you need a break. Whether you're working on a paper, browsing the web, or playing video games, taking frequent breaks is ideal for maintaining your health and productivity. It's important to respect teacher rules, but when working from home, at least once every hour, get up, do some stretches, have a glass of water, walk around. This will get your blood circulating and give your eyes a rest. You could also try the 2020 rule. For every 20 minutes you spend on the computer, give yourself a 20 second break. Just as with typing practice, you should make frequent breaks a habit. Your body will thank you for it. 
The human body is an amazing thing. There's no shortage of what it can do when you put your mind to it. Believe it or not, you have special powers. It's only a matter of tapping into them. One of these special powers is unlocked after completing various tasks over and over. When you repeat the same mental or physical activity, your body learns how to complete these tasks with less brain power. This is called muscle memory. In other words, practice, practice, practice. It's the best way to improve muscle memory. For example, when you play a video game for the first time, you may not be very good at it. But as you keep playing it, your muscles fine-tune themselves. Next thing you know, the game becomes effortless. New high score. Typing is another example of muscle memory in action. As you practice, your muscle memory powers will kick in, and your typing will start to feel automatic. You won't have to think about which key to press next because your fingers will know where to go. This lets you focus on the task at hand. So get practicing. Your new special power awaits. Now that you've got the basics down, let's work on getting your speed up. The only way you can make this happen is with frequent, focused practice. We can't stress this enough. Here are three tips you should follow as you practice. Focus on accuracy. Believe it or not, starting out slow in the beginning will help you increase your speed in the long term. Take your time and focus on your typing accuracy, avoiding mistakes as you go. Nothing slows you down like having to hit backspace to correct an error. As you make a habit of this, your speed will pick up naturally. Identify problem keys. When you first learn to type, you will undoubtedly encounter keys that slow you down. It is important to identify these keys and practice them on a daily basis. Practicing those problem keys for just 10 minutes a day will increase your speed and accuracy scores. Perfect your technique. Strong techniques are the actions that move fingers and hands in the most efficient and effective manner. The more you perfect your technique, the faster and more accurately you will type. Technique can also be improved by practicing good posture, correct hand placement, and keeping your eyes on the screen while typing. Now get after it, Speedy! Yeah.